reporting for TTNHD Production Live here with Polly Lankford Smith. How did you start working with your mother? I was finishing up my college degree in psychology a number of years ago, and I decided that is my last semester that I wanted to go into juvenile hall. She was going in as a project and help her as part of an internship. And a professor of mine helped me out, and he okayed it. So I we started the project. We worked with the kids, and I turned in my, my paperwork as I needed, and it was an incredible project. It was unbelievably eye-opening and fulfilling and rewarding. Mm -hmm. And um, the amount of, um, I don't know, earnest or the the dear thoughts that some of these kids would share and then the, the raw shock thoughts that they would share. Just It was really eye-opening. And it was sad. It was very sad. It was hard to leave sometimes. You wanted to help some of the kids that looked like they could they could use it. And um, and yet you knew it, I knew it at the time I couldn't. But um, I think watching them work on some art projects and some writing projects, a lot of them have had a lot of opportunity. It's just they needed the right direction. Going in as a young adult, were you, did you feel that, that you were a role model for the kids or that they looked up to you because you weren't so, so much older? I do. I think um, my mom often shares that um, some of them would ask when I wasn't there. Someone asked, oh, she's on a date. She's doing this and what she's doing here. And, and I do think that at different times they they probably looked at the two of us working together like something they would have loved the opportunity to have um, or could never imagine even experiencing. Or um, I, th I do think, I think they got a, a, a really enjoyed the time with us because um, we both, some of our personalities and our funkiness between mom and daughter would come out most definitely. And um, they would challenge challenge me in ways and they challenged my mom in different ways um it was really a very powerful and very moving experience to be able to go in juvenile hall as many times as we were able to go in what do you think would be an effective way for rehabilitation i think working um one thing that the two of us talk about often is working with animals and i and it's actually been, you know, publicized in different ways on Facebook and whatnot, other cities or counties that are doing it in, in successful ways. And I think that that could be one very helpful avenue for some of the kids that are incarcerated to form empathy that they might not have had the opportunity to, or maybe they just don't know they have it. And having a friendship with a dog or a horse or a cat could could really help them, give them a sense of responsibility, which could be full circle for them. And do you think they could then translate that to their human relationships as well? I, I think they I think they could. They might not see that direct line at the time, but I think they definitely could. And it would really help their end result of working with mom and dad, or mom or dad, whoever, foster parents, um, give them a sense of I can move forward and I can go to college maybe and just stick with my with my schoolwork and not just hang out with the you know the gang guys or whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. So, okay. And do you think that you'll be doing more work with your mom as time goes on? Oh, I hope so. Mm -hmm. I hope so. We it would it would be so much fun to get back and work with some of the kids. Mm -hmm. Whether they're foster kids or they're kids that are incarcerated and they work on different art projects or writing projects, so yes. And how has, you've grown up in a very artistic environment, um, how has photography influenced your life? Well, I, um, mom's always had a camera in her hand. She's not in very many pictures, but she's always had a camera in her hand. And I've always loved photographing, learning from her, doing my own my own different kind of stuff. Um, when we went up to Canada and photographed the polar bears, I still remember to this day that I had the little Leica camera and I opened the back of the camera because it was the old olden days. So it was an, 
old camera, older <laughs> camera than today's cameras. Ruined my film, and I still remember today just what would have been on that film. But, but it's um, it's so fun to be able to grab whether it's my nephews taking pictures of them, family members, nature. So I, I really do love it. Do you think that photography or art in general could also be very helpful with the juvenile in the juvenile hall? Oh, I definitely, definitely, mm -hmm. most definitely. I think whether they're writing in their own journals or they're creating their own little birdhouses that they feel that they can sell mm -hmm. and give back, um, art projects all across the country, little different art projects and nonprofits tend to be very successful with kids trying to express themselves in ways they can't in other, any other way. And how did you do all the graphics in the book? What led you to do that? I, after my psychology degree at San Diego State, mm -hmm. I decided to go on. I was kind of in that middle ground. Do I want to, you know, be an artist? Do I want to go and on for a PhD? And I decided that design work or graphic design and art was my, my path. And so I went to UCSD and studied at UCSD for a number of years as I was working. Mm -hmm. And that's when we first, our first book was Maggots and My Sweet Potatoes. Mm -hmm. And that was a grueling process for me as a designer mm -hmm. for my first book to go through. But um, it got a lot of awards, which was very fun. Not, not because of me, but just the overall project. And um, it, it's... Um, I love layout. I love design. I love in a, mixing in photography and kids' work, if it's the kids' work, and and word and, and um, sharing, I guess, a, a form of awareness. Mm -hmm. And so I don't like I don't like manipulating any photography or manipulating the kids' work or whatever I'm mixing. I like to just have it as it's raw form and um so and what's the best way to find your work online humaneexposures.com would be the first the first avenue we're on facebook and twitter mm -hmm. and um the different projects that i've worked on with my mom are on facebook and each one has a page but um our website would be the number one place and you can go from there Great. well thank you so much and best of luck with your upcoming projects thank you thank you I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live.